hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you all for stopping by today i'm going to show you how i make this delicious gaini sweet treat parasad diwali is in a few days and i want to wish all my hindu brothers and sisters a happy diwali so to get started i have some brown sugar vanilla i'll be using some raisins cherries i have nutmeg cinnamon sticks star anise i'll be using some evaporated milk flour butter and some sweetened condensed milk so first things first i put a pot on the stove added some water and I put my spices in there to simmer until it reduces to half the amount once it reduces I remove my spices and then I went in with my milks add both the milk along with the sugar and let it simmer on low heat until we prepare the flour Now to a skillet, I add the butter, allow the butter to melt. Once it melts, we will add the flour and you wanna parch this until it becomes a nice caramel color or until it becomes the color that you desire. So we will just keep stirring this consistently so it will not burn and you wanna keep your heat on low and allow this to parch. It will start to change color and texture and I will show you when we are ready to proceed with the next step. So once your flour reaches your desired color, that's when you wanna add your nutmeg and vanilla. That's the last thing you wanna add to your milk. Give it a stir and remove it from the heat. Then you wanna pour it slowly into that flour mixture. You wanna pour and just keep stirring until it thickens up. This is the point too where you wanna add your cherries and your raisins and you just mix, mix until it comes together. It will start to thicken and become like a, a solid from liquid to solid and that's exactly what you want. This is so delicious guys. I can't wait for you all to try this recipe. It is so rich and creamy and absolutely amazing. And as you can see the different stages it is going through as I stir it is going from soft to solid and it's so smooth creamy and absolutely amazing it is so simple to make it takes roughly about 20 minutes and you have delicious parsad right in your own home give the recipe a try for me and let me know what you guys think and here you have it, my delicious Parsad recipe. I hope you all give this recipe a try and if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it and leave a comment down below. I'll leave all the ingredients and measurements down in my description box and I'll see you all next time. Thank you for watching. I appreciate your support and as always, enjoy.